Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Novgo Bear here in EU4. Wealth of Nations. We are at war with Sweden because they recently got free of Denmark. Denmark had a union, the union's gone. Uh, we are also at war with Greece because they got free from Crimea when Crimea collapsed. Crimea collapsed into Orthodox Crimea, and now he has Sunni zealot rebels. What the actual fuck? Yes, the world is a little bit topsy-turvy, but um, I'm not sure what you would expect. Uh, I think I'm going to start getting some claims over here in Ottoman land. Um, he is actually culture converting everything. Look at this. This is supposed to be Bulgarian, Turkish, Bulgarian, Turkish, Bulgarian, Turkish. The Greek is fine. He's leaving that because it's accepted. Bulgarian, Turkish, Serbian. Well, he's leaving the, some of the Serbian. And he's leaving some of the other stuff. Okay, so he's leaving some of the stuff alone. But for the most part, he's doing a pretty good job of ethnic cleansing. Uh, what's he doing down here? Uh, Bedouin Egyptian, it's all the same culture group. He'll leave those alone. Uh, but I expect him to start converting like the Albanian and Syrian provinces at some point. Uh, so why don't we start by getting some claims down here. Let's go for Solister. Sherlister. Claim that shit. I like how you get ex you get aggressive expansion when you claim stuff. You get aggressive expansion when you declare war, and then you aggressive expansion when you peace out. It's silly. You get triple hit for for aggressive expansion now. But what can you do? That's just the way the game is. We've changed it. I don't like change. Lose admin points. Really? Re <laughs> Republic apostrophe s are successful when the important families are ready to put the republic's interest on par with their own. Wow. How can they put the same word twice and get the plural incorrect but then get the possessive correct I don't know that's pretty impressive though all right lose 50 admin points Tripoli's independent from the Mamluks yep someone's gonna go eat that probably Algiers I wonder if we, I wonder if we could eat that I really don't want it Let's get three base tax provinces in a territory that you could probably never protect. Yeah! No, that sounds like a bad idea. We're at 113 with Francie Pants, and he still won't take an alliance. Mainly because he's already allied with a great power, who is Spain. Oh yeah, when can he annex the Hansa? That's a damn good question. 1573. He's only been 20-something years. Alright, so he's got a long way before he can annex the Hansa. That's fine. Kaffa! Hey, hey! Welcome to the fold, Greece. You are now known as Southern Russia. Ah, oh, yeah. And it's been requested that we rename this to Putingrad. Done. Back on the boat. Do we need to put our foot down? We might want to put our foot down. You know what? I'll just leave some troops there. Fuck it. There's no need to put them anywhere else, is there? Nah. Spain called for a crusade against the Ottomans. Whoa. So how's our coalition look? Well, Chagtai, Tim Tims... Lithuania, Crimea, and the Ottomans. It's still a lot to deal with. At least all at once. Hmm. Why you gotta be in debt all the time, Poland? Fuck's sake, dude. What a dick. He's like, I'm in debt. I don't want to go to war. <sighs> Negative 160. Poland is in debt. What kind of a general do you have? Do you have a god? He has a 3-3. Three, three. That's not that bad. And his tech is behind us. Good. Kick his butthole. I'm here to kick your butthole. I'm going to put my foot right in your butthole. And we need to marry Pomerania again. Okay. Done. Yay! My foot entered his butthole, and I think he's running to Scane, so follow him. Yep. 
He's fucked. Goody. Alright. So next step is... Spread out. Move on. Drop a dude. Move on. Oh, he's recruiting. He's doing mercenaries. We gotta move fast. Oh, wow. You, Ukraine is up here. He's like, oh, I'm here to invade the Swedens. Wow, Ukraine. You really do get around. Level 2 fort? Level 2. Alright, fine. Leave two guys. Timurids are falling apart in India. That was to be expected, though. Oh, Ukraine's in Stockholm. Alright, I'll get out of there then. I will let you siege Stockholm, okay? Good job, Ukraine. You're the best. He's got a two-star general. He's got a 2-4. Alright. Fair enough. Drop a dude. Or a couple dudes. Move on. How goes the coring down here? 25%. Alright, it's not that bad. Oh, he's got more rebels. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Wow, our manpower is actually climbing back up pretty quick. We still have 40k to go. But I think this might be the safe point that we can just build some more units. Or we could just annex a vassal. When can we annex Kazakh? Well, get a marriage, obviously. But when can we annex you? I'm curious. 1602. Six more years. So that's going to be a little too long. I am so tempted just to annex Pomerania. Because that would give us a fantastic province, Danzig, to put our trade capital. That is really tempting. I was also considering putting our trade capital in Stockholm. Uh, but it doesn't actually get any bonuses. Yeah. For the Baltic node, the two... There's three provinces that are really good for the Baltic node. Riga, Ostprusen, and Danzig. Danzig is by far the best. Um, but Stockholm would be very easy for us to protect. It would take nothing, no work at all, just to protect it, because nobody would ever go there. Um, and if rebels are there, we can easily take them out. But Riga, I guess, would work. Hmm... It does get the plus 10. I don't know. I think it depends. But I do want to move my trade capital because we can make a lot more money by using ships than we can just by using the inland trade nodes. But I don't know. We'll talk about it, I guess. We will talk possibilities. Okay, drop another dude. Oh, complaints about the bailiff. Lose another 33 prestige. How many times am I going to lose 33 prestige? That is a ridiculous event. And that'll be 100%. Marriage from Poland. Nope. No sex for you, Poland. Alright. Drop a dude. And roll on home. That's pretty much all we have to do. We might want to split one more unit out for each army, because they're not actually sieging. They're failing to siege. So yeah, let's drop one more unit at each army.
Oh, we got our claim on Solicitor. Great. Get me another claim. Nigbalu, That'll work. Why are we claiming the Ottomans? Because I feel like we're going to be having a war with them somewhat soon. Uh, might as well have claims. There we go. Pomerania is helping out as well. Good. Oh, shoot. These fucking rebels. They better not convert them back to Sunni. And they better not flip land to the Ottomans. That would really be a bummer. Oh no, I was discovered fabricating a claim. Guess what? No one cares. Hey, the Timurids left the coalition against us. Okay. Not that the Timurids are anything important anymore. I mean, the Timurids are pretty much a non-entity at this point. And wow, look at the Mongols. Negative 200 wants your provinces. They want Ostrakhan, Karakum, Churjui, Keri, Urgench. Buzuluk, Turkestan, and 13 more. Fucking hell, Manchu. I like how he has no allies. He has no allies. No relationships, no marriages, no nothing. He just grits his teeth. Urgh. That's his That's his answer when you ask him, what's up? Ooh, QQ left the coalition. Do we get distant overseas on him? We do. Well, we could go annex and release QQ. That would be fun. That would be fun. We're at five out of five. Yeah, we could do that. Well, let's focus on what we're doing first. As soon as we're done with Sweden, I'll think about it. A next and release QQ. I would love to do that. That would give us a port on the Persian Gulf. Ooh. That'd be amazing. And where's the rebels? Where did the bad man touch you? Ah. Uh, yeah. Wow, 17 rebels. Really? 17 rebels. Come on. Make him dead. Make the rebels dead. There you go. I'm not so bad. You ain't so tough. Oh no, our Commandant died. Okay. Oh, only level 2s and level 3s? Can I afford that? Sort of. But he's 44, there's no point. He's too old. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's just too old. Uh, that sounds like a... I think we just go without an advisor for now. I hate to do it, but I think that's I think that's the proper play. Can we do some more level two forts. Yes, we can. We do some level three. Do we want level threes? We probably do. Actually, the question is where. Hmm. Well, if we check supply limits, what are we looking at? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. 36, 28, 31, 36, 28, 27, 18. Okay, this place definitely needs a bigger fort. 16. Okay, so bigger forts over there. But I think those are already going in. They're getting some level 2s. Could get some level 3s along the Lithuanian border. Might want that. But the supply limits seem okay. 25 is not great, but it's not bad. And down here, the supply limit's pretty good, yeah. Especially with the coastal provinces. Yeah, the supply limit's okay there. And over here, it should be fine, yeah. Hmm. Maybe just some armories. Get me get me some more manpower. Or some more money. Ooh, temples. Uh, more money. I can never argue with more money. I think more money is amazing. More money means more buildings. And the longer you have upgraded buildings, the longer they give you bonuses. All right, there goes the target province. So we're going to have ticking war score now. Ottomans declared war on the Mamluks again. Oh my god. This is the third Ottoman Mamluk war. Or the fourth? I don't know. There's been a few.
Ottoman's only ally is the Timurids? Are you kidding me? So we could declare on the Tim Tims. We could declare on the Tim Tims. That would bring us into war with the Ottomans. I'm not sure I want to do that, but that is a way to avoid the coalition. How many troops do the Ottomans even have? They have 75. Wow. That's a lot of troops, Ottomans. That's a lot of troops. What's your tech? His tech is the same as mine. Wow. Your tech is good. We're just waiting for better... Better uh, discounts on the tech. We did have a chance to do it at 28% increased cost. Believe it or not, I chose not to do it at 28% increased cost. I thought that was a little expensive. Yes, yes, rebels, rebels. Rabble, rabble. Rabble, rabble. Even nationalists again. Oh, they entered when I already had an army there. Not the best time to enter. <laughs> oh shit, these Sunni zealots. Damn it. Fucking Sunnis. God. Oh, yeah, so what is the total cost of all your land, Sweden? Talk to me. Talk to me about your land. Total cost is 131. All right. So if we take the coast down here, it's actually pretty cheap. Uh, we'll take uh, we'll take probably take the coast and Vastergotland. I think we'll take this <laughs> this wide swath of land, and we'll leave him with the capital and Narki and Edseva. Seems like a plan. God, he's going to be so much of a non-entity. Now, we could declare on Norway at this time. But the danger about declaring on Norway is we could find ourselves also at war with Denmark, who might become the war leader. And if they become the war leader, they would bring in Lithuania and Poland, and that sounds terrifying. He's still in debt. Negative 160 to joining the war because he's still in debt. When are you not in debt, Poland? Is that like... Why does being in debt prevent you from going to war? Ah, oh, I don't know. Ireland converted to Protestant? What? Fuck's sake, Ireland. You're not supposed to be Protestant. That is not historical right there. At all. Protestant Ireland. Don't give me that bullshit. All right, more claims on the auto derps. Let's go for... What is that called? Kirkalisi. All right. No, not declare war. Fabricate claim. Kirkalisi. There you go. France took some land from the HRE? Of course he did. France wants land? France gets land. In fact, that should be a name. That should be a colony. France gets land. <laughs> uh, because they do. That's what they do. Talking of colonies, our colony's about to finish. Hooray! There goes our colony. I think we'll stick the border. Yeah. Wow, Finnmark went from Norway to Norway. Those are some amazing rebels right there. All right, so let's peace out. There 
There we go. 84 overextension. 84 overextension. And this will piss off lots of people. 84 overextension. Well, I can't do that right now, but we're almost done with this stuff. Alright, soon. Soon. Wow, 84%. And we failed. We failed at 84. Really? I mean, that's kind of sad. There we go. Alright, so when did these finish? Next year, March. Alright, we're, we're almost there. Next year, March. Pretty quick. These fucking rebels, man. England and France are at war? No, England and Mecklenburg joined a war against Brunswick, Aachen, and Magdeburg. Okay, so Mecklenburg is back on the warpath. Again, it's what they do. No, oh, rebels in charge we. Damn it. Charge we. Why would you do that? I'm here to protect you from yourself. Nobles demand increased pensions. Local National tax goes down or lose stability. National tax, whatever. Alright, we got a core in Putingrad. It's nice. Uh, can we get our troops out of there? Did that lower the revolt risk at all? It should. 10.9. 10.4, really? So coring the province brought the revolt risk down by 0.5. From 10.9 to 10.4. Wow. Man, am I glad we got a core. That makes such a huge difference. I guess we'll just put our foot down. No, oh, it's 50 points, though. Ooh, I don't know. Fucking Sunni zealots, man. They're everywhere. Well... No, I really don't want to spend an extra 50 points. We have we have spent about I think it was about 700 points putting our boot our our boot down on a lot of provinces to lower the revolt risk. And it looks a lot better. There's a lot less revolts, which is nice. It allows us to get our manpower back up. So essentially we spent we spent military points to get our manpower up simply by lowering the revolt risk everywhere. Which is sort of a good thing, sort of a bad thing. Uh, I don't like spending military points for that reason, but since we had so much extra, I figured, why not? We were At some point, we were 12 years or 13 years ahead. It's like, eh. Alright, cores are coming in. Japan, annexed Ryuku. Goodbye, Ryuku. And hello, Sweden. Oh, I need a diplomat. Oh, shit. Um, oh, we'll have one soon. There we go. I wonder how big the coalition will be after this peace deal. Oh look, a ceremony was disrupted. That means we lose another 33 prestige. Let's keep losing more and more prestige. So complain about the bailiff and then ceremony disrupted in combination will give you negative 66 prestige. That is amazing because single events should not give you that much negative prestige since they're completely random. Okay, let's piss off Europe. I mean, we could even take more, but let's not be greedy. We have claims on all of these. And he has no alliances to get rid of. We can't vassalize him. Could make him give land to Norway. There's no point. Um, and I don't want to revoke any cores because that costs 25 diplo each. 
It's very expensive. Alright, yeah, it costs no Diplo points to take all these. Great. Now we will keep an army here. Because I assume we're going to have revolts. Several of them. Alright, they're all coring. Good, good. What's the most important one? Skane and Vasterbot. Alright, well, work on them, damn it. Yeah, Revolt Risk map, map Mode is not happy about that area. Oh well. Seslavis. Really wish we had that National Revolt Risk guy. Oh well. Alright, so let's start annexing Kazakh. Oh no, we have to wait two more years, right? Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, three more years until we can annex Kazakh. Okay. Hmm. Well, we could declare war on Norway, but that really runs the risk of getting Poland into a war against us. I don't want that. Oh, someone went Noble Republic. Makassar. And look at the Netherlands go. He even got Luxembourg. Wow. Netherlands is being really strunk over here. Super Nederland. Hmm. 18 aggressive expansion against France for taking all that. That's not that bad at all. Oh, revolt in Putengrad. It's a big-ass revolt. That was 18,000 troops. Wow, that's a big revolt for one tiny little province. My goodness. Oh, the Timurids collapsed. Okay. So Kiva has spawned. Hello, Kiva. He's allied to Chugtai, but Chugtai is pretty weak. Kiva and Balochistan. Khorasan has spawned. He has no allies, but... Eh. And Delhi has spawned. Hello, Delhi. What's up, Delhi? He got four provinces. Good for him. Let's start fabricating a Manchu. Not that it matters that much. We may just go for releasing a vassal here. Not Uzbek. Oh, we can give that to Kazakh. Really? Yeah, one pro I can give one province to Kazakh. Okay, well... Hmm. Then I don't need a claim on it, do I? Nope. That was a poor choice. I should have checked first. Now I have to wait a half a year for our diplomat to come home. Uh, but yeah, what cores are here? The Oirat Horde. Alright, so yeah, we could make him release the Oirat Horde. That would be huge. And the Mongoli Mongol Khanate. No, it's just called Mongolia. Alright. So Mongolia has a few cores over here. Not many. The typical Mongol Khanate cores. That's it. And then the rest is all Oirat Horde. Okay. So I think the first war with the Manchu will just be to release the Oirat Horde. Because I don't think we'll be able to do anything else than that. He has way too much land. Could make him release Korea, but Korea would actually be difficult for us to get to. The Oirats we can just get to right away. Because we'll be bordering them. Actually, if we're going to do the first war with them, why not do it now? Why wait? Um, they're tech 14. They are really teching up. They have 13,000 manpower. That's pretty bad. But then again, they still have horde units. So no matter how much they tech up, their units are going to be terrible. Norway declared war on Sweden. Really? Yeah, Norway has declared war on Sweden. Alright, Poland, here's your time to shine. Let's see if he will join. Poland will not join. Why? Because he's in debt, negative 130. My God, Poland, stop being in debt. This is Poland's 
big day, and he's like, ah, I'm on center stage. I'm allied to the to the person playing the game. Well, I guess it's time for me to um, always be in debt. Hee hee hee. Anyway, we're out of time for this episode today. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time for further adventures in the land of Novgobear. I'll see you then. Have a good day.